Hello, YouTube viewers. Once again, welcome to the depression. This is Discovery World Channel. I thank you for your comments and also your contribution for making this energy channel a success. For some time now, we have been on how you can build a free energy generator and different components you can use in building this system and production I explain in details how to build a 10 kV SF generator and I also may mention of different components using the comment which I received last week we talked about a comment this what I used last week I was able to explain what type of automator electric motor uh, good for uh, for the generator this question that was asked by one James he asked this question and I was able to explain a different details of how you can build this system how it was asking the type of alternator and electric motor you will use to build the system and because of that I have to go ahead and explain in different components I also mentioned this uh, uh, the generator uh, the electric motor which I say if you are using for instance you are having this kind of type of generator like this and then you will need at least a bigger electric motor which is at like 1.5 uh, kilowatts of electric motor that can also have the power to run this because if you have for instance have a uh, 3 uh, kVA generator and use this kind of motor which is 1.5 uh, you are already consume half of your uh, output power and then you only have only half and then what before you put electric appliances just everything is gone so i recommend that you should use something smaller as uh, the system for smaller generator then use a bigger electric motor of, of this type for bigger generator so i uh, will explain and i've done and also give you a sample of this type of generator i say this kind of generator you need this kind of electric motor like 1.5 kva electric motor with a good rpm you can also have a good output so i explain everything then today we are going to go into details also in the combination of the explanation we made today i'm going to look at this uh, important question because somebody also has this question in this last uh, uh question this is mr jackson jackson explain what he asks is that could you please add a page with all the specification including width and dimension of body size of bed flyway thank you when now today i'm going to have a, a bit a explanation on what he asked because he asked three things he asked one the width the dimension of poly and size of the bed and so let's, let's go for instance now uh, jackson i want to explain something to you let us good example now let's use this uh, generator as example now the weight of your pulley is directly proportional to the size of your motor for instance this is the generator you can see this flyway now the flyway this flyway if you look at this weight of this flyway is directly proportional to the size of the motor because i've discovered that if you use a very weighty uh, flyway on a very light motor, like motor that RPM is not too high, the speed of the motor will be reduced. In other words, you are giving more load to the motor to turn rather than giving less weight. So I recommend less flyway weight. It is not the how weightier the flyway is that make the energy to the, the current to generate. What make the current to generate is the speed of the motor. 
The essence for the flyway is only have to keep the energy moving as kinetic energy in the process of changing over. I've explained that in one of my videos. So if you are asking for the weight of the of the motor, I will not give you a specific size of the weight of dimension of pulley. You should use a pulley that you know that is confident, is less weight. The palms will less because if I give you so use to them, I don't know the size of your motor, I don't know the speed ratio of your motor. So if you go and use the prescription, you may not likely have the output or good output. Now you are giving, you give a high weight for that. For instance, look at this generator now. The generator does not even use poly. There's no poly. All we do have here is uh, what the bed, which is being used as a, a joint between this and this. Now, if you observe, this generator also still produce a good output without any uh, problem. Why? Because there is a less weight. The electric motor could be able to turn the very good ratio can be able to turn a very good speed without affecting the output. So if you are friend, if you are giving a much weight to the motor, then the turning ratio will be reduced. For so let's look for instance now. Let's look for instance now. Look at this this now. Look at this now. And this is this is Now you can see that this is rotating well. See this the speed, the speed is going. Now, if the speed is not high enough, as you see now, the output of the generator will not be high. So you must make sure that the speed, the motor speed is high. And for you to achieve the high motor speed, you must reduce too many weights on this. This, on this the weight of the flag will should be reduced. So that is why you can see this, this generator can turn in a very flexible way. Do you know why? Because the the weight of the flag is just small. It's, it just see it's not really matter whether you use a very big or uh, use a flag. The flag does not really produce the voltage. What produces the voltage is the generator. And the generator can only produce the voltage if the, this engine, which is the grandmaster, which is the heart of the system, is turning well. And this is the electric motor. If the electric motor is not turning well, there is no way you will have a good output. So that is where I always tell my subscriber get a fast electric motor. Electric motor that will give you high speed, fast speed. Then from there, you will have a good. But if you go ahead and get just uh, you can just have a flywheel that is crazy and cannot here, you will not have much more. The output will not be and you affect the pressure ratio. So you get it now. Now let's go back now. Let's go back. And then if you know, let me go back to another question you ask here. Another question you ask here is a, it's a, uh, the dimension of the Poly, size of the bed and flyway. I've explained that already. So I'm going to look at the specification very soon. Then let me go to this place. Now I say, please tell us the real sense of fuelless generator and say it, some say it before it will, it will, it will. We need to modify alternator. Is it true? When it's not true, because what you're saying, if I may understand you clearly, you said what is the sense of foil generator? Foil generator is a system or a generator that runs without foil. It has to move without the use of foil. Then you add that some people say that before they can turn on, you must modify as you must work on the alternator. I say no. Alternator does not do. If you look at this system, as you see now. This automator remain with it. You can buy automator from the market and you use it as it is without modifying. There's no need for why you modify the automator for. You don't need to work on the coil. As long as you have a good coil, as long as you, your coil is a copper coil, which I always recommend people to use. 
you will still have a good output no need of modifying anything there's no need modification before you get good output so anybody else you say yes you need to go and work and modify the coil is telling you a lie except if you are coil or if you are generator if your alternator is having issue maybe some, some people will buy, buy use an old expired or dilapidated uh, generator if you use that generator you need to go to the coil repairer to recoil it so that you can have a good output or if the coil you're using if the generator is not using a pure copper a pure copper system you can also go and ask them to modify it and rewind it but otherwise if what they're using is a very clear copper uh, coil generator you got from the market you don't need don't need, don't need to modify just leave it the way it is so that you have a good output the only thing you need that you must have a good uh, motor the good motor will help you to generate a good color that is to help to turn the generator in the speed at which it requires whatever pressure we made it's important for you to ask a question in the comment I don't prefer people calling me or sending me WhatsApp. Many people send me WhatsApp and calling me uh, I, because I'm too busy to answer all the questions and I have no data to So when you give your comment and you ask a question on the, on the channel, when I come over it, I'll review the questions, I'll review the comments, sorry, and then go into the question. Then from there, I will answer this question in the general form, general what I'm doing now. And next week, I also have another questions. So that I will to explain for everybody to understand it. Because if you WhatsApp me or tip me, I will not answer to you because I have other things to do. And I also want other people to also learn, not personally yourself. So that is what I want you to do. So please feel free to give me a comment, ask questions, and also help me to share this good news to others. Thank you.
whatever application we made it's important for you to ask a question in the comment i don't prefer people calling me or sending me whatsapp many people send me whatsapp and calling me uh, I, because i'm too busy to answer all the questions when i have that issue so when you give your comment and you ask a question on the, on the channel when i come over it i'll review the questions i'll review the comments sorry and then go into the question then from there i will answer this question in general form which is what i'm doing now next week i also have another questions so that i go to explain for everybody to understand it because if you whatsapp me or tip me i will not answer to you because i have other things to do and i also want other people to also learn not personally yourself so that is what i want you to do so please feel free to give me a comment ask questions and also help me to share this good news to others thank you